All right, so we know that number talks are good and they're important to do because they're good for kids and developing number sense and number fluency and all that sort of stuff. But now how are we supposed to do that in this remote learning world where your students are miles away and you are all by yourself in your room? And that's where Jamboard comes in. So let's get started on this. So ideally, now Jamboard is this beautiful app. It's um, free. You can freely download it from Google. It's a, oh, I love it. But here's the thing. I don't often initiate my, my work with Jamboard right here. Really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my desktop. So here's my desktop. And what I'm gonna often do is in my Google Drive, that's where I'm gonna do new, and I'm gonna go down to more, and I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna find Google Jamboard. And it's gonna say, do you wanna share it? Uh, created in this folder that is shareable and yes of course now you're going to see this thing it looks very like a familiar uh, google product in the upper left hand corner you name it oh let's call this uh, aaa so it goes to the top of my screen um, number talk demo all right and i'm going to click ok and sure enough there it is now as all good Google Google products. If I want to share it, I can press that blue button and share it. At this point, because it's just a number talk, I'm going to do the writing and my students are going to do the talking. Uh, so I am officially ready. But I want to switch over to my, um, where it is here, I want to switch over to my iPad because I want to actually do the writing on my iPad. I don't want to do the writing on my Mac, on my computer. So I'm going to refresh my screen and sure enough there is, it pops up, there is my new file that I created, my number talk demo. And uh, it's boring right now because it is waiting for me to write down, oh let's say we're going to do 28 plus 36 and there is my number talk and I am now officially ready to do my number talk and of course at this point um, I, I, this is when I, I, I just it's just like running a number talk and I say who who here's your problem put your chest your hand in your chest do your thinking if you uh, want to share your answer give me a thumb if you have two ideas you'd like to share give me a two um, I use my zoom uh, reaction so students are allowed to use their thumb or their hand if if they want to use that as their way of indicating that they want to talk and there you go that's that that's a number talk and in that number talk, uh, now uh, we can do some writing and just let the kids. Now what's really neat is you're seeing my iPad view. Now my iPad view is really zoomed in, but look at what you're going to see on the actual desktop. Nothing. It doesn't zoom in. So what's really cool is you can zoom in on, the, on your iPad as you're writing, but your students won't see any zooming. They'll just see that writing pop up as you write. So students might say, oh, well, I did 28 plus 36, and I, I knew that 20 was 20 and 8, or 28 was 20 and 8, and 36 is 30 and 6. So I added my 20 plus 30 to get 50. I added my 8 plus 6 to get 14. And then I added my 50 plus 14 and got 64, all right? And so uh, as a teacher, we are, the number talk feels very similar and uh, there's nothing special going on here uh, because the kids are doing the talking, you're doing the recording. The difference is in, instead of being face-to-face -face and on a bulletin board or on a poster paper, you're doing it on a jam board. And again, I just wanna show you what that looks like. So on the computer, what the students will see is not zoomed in, but when I look at the iPad view, it's zoomed in and then I can move around and now I can write the students, the second student method right here. And I'm gonna, of course, change the color because you gotta change the color. 
And what's the problem? It was 28 plus 36. And oh, maybe on this one, uh, maybe we're going to take 2 and give it to the 28. So that becomes 30 plus 34. And so there's our answer of 64. And just to belabor the point, you can see uh, it's um, no zooming is happening here. So I'm moving around on zoomed in on my iPad, but nothing is happening on the screen. And so that when we are writing here, I don't know, let's see, what is it? 28 plus 36. Now you don't see it, but on my, my iPad, I'm really zoomed in. But what the students are going to see is a nice big old poster paper so to speak, and uh, really kind of cool. So maybe we'll, we'll take that as 30 and six, and we'll add the 28 plus 38 and get uh, 50, uh, 30, and get 28 plus 30 and get 58 plus the six, and that's how we get 64. And, and again, zoomed in on the iPad, but looking nice and normal on the Jamboard. And there you go, that's how you can um, use that Jamboard uh, to, to, to do a number talking and have the kids do the talking. I'm gonna make another video showing uh, how we might use Jamboard in a more collaborative way where the students are doing most of the talking. But right here, Jamboard is a powerful, powerful tool for a teacher leading a number talk in a remote learning environment.